Welcome to the Speakeasy Lounge. My name is Jennifer and I'm your host. So glad to have you here. Welcome back. We have another Laura Fabian song. I love her. I'm so glad that you guys turned me on to her and Dimash. It's like just two of the best artists ever in the whole world and I would have never found them if it weren't for you guys. I don't listen to my radio anymore. I have my playlist, my Spotify playlist, and I have the best songs. I have I could just sit in my car forever and drive forever just listening to the music. Anyway, I'm glad to have you here. We're doing uh, Madam Mad, Mademoiselle Mademoiselle High. I know that Dimash did this, but I'm, uh, my admin and my, um, moderator told me that, or actually it wasn't, it was Victor, one of my YouTube members, that um, Laura wrote this song and that Igor Kutroy, I guess, uh, directed it or, or, or put the score together or something. So I didn't know that. I've not heard the song before. I've seen it pop up in, in my request under Dimash. I didn't even know that Laura did it. Um, but somebody requested it and told me that she wrote it. So we're going to react to her version of it. I probably will act to Dimash's um, version of it as well sooner or later. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But we're going to listen to the OG. We're going to listen to Miss Laura. And I'm excited to do it. So before I do, real quick mention, if you like the video, to give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe to Speakeasy Lounge. We do a lot of fun things. We go live on Mondays and take your request, and hang out and chat, and just chill, and it's a lot of fun. So check out the description. It's got all the info in it. Um, all the info to the Facebook page, uh, how to become a YouTube member, um, and, you know, all the important stuff. All right. Laura Fabian, Mademoiselle Hyde, live 2016. All right, let's go. Лара Фабиан. You and me both. <laughs> Wow, I love this. 
Wow. Yes, she's just amazing. Okay, I gotta pause it. I hate doing it, but I gotta do it just for a second, just to keep the copyright claims at bay. I love Laura, and this is so, it's so Phantom of the Opera vibe. Um, and I pick up on, on the whole, the, the, the meaning behind the lyrics, and it's so cool. Leave in the comments and let me know what you think it means. I'll tell you after it what I think. Wow. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> she always just really blows my mind. Extraordinary song by Mr. Igor Kruper. It says that he's the composer. Maybe he wrote the music and she wrote the lyrics. That was just amazing. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. That was so cool. I love that. Yeah, I definitely got a Phantom of the Opera vibe from that. And uh, I just, I, the way I took it is, you know, you have your, your two sides. You're good, you're evil. You're, and sometimes it's easier and it's, it feels more real when you let the darker side come out, if that makes any sense. Um, all the demons and stuff that we fight inside, you know, it's uh, when somebody comes into our lives that's in a weird, in a, when we're at a weird place, which seems like most of the time I am. Um, <laughs> we're, we, people come into your lives and it's like you, you push, you put them at bay just a little bit. You keep people at arms or each because of what you fear yourself, if that makes sense. Anyway, yeah, I just see where you're you're fighting your own demons and someone else is in becomes involved or tries to come close and you want to keep them away. And then you finally open up and let that person in and then you feel like you transformed them. But usually Lord, I have found my personal experience that that is not always the case you can have those demons and those things that you fight and push people away and then sometimes you are actually surprised when you let somebody special in that they can help you transform and they can help you bring out that that side that you thought was false or fake or the the goodness you know um I hope I'm not terribly ranting too much, but I really, I really related to the song and the lyrics, and I'm going to go back and listen to it again, and I want to uh, see if I can find out. So somebody drop it in the comments if you know if she's explained the meaning behind the lyrics to this song, because I could have been just ranting, and it had absolutely nothing to do with what the actual song means. But that's the way I interpreted it. So tell me what you think. <laughs> in the meantime, again, don't forget, Throw a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the Speakeasy Lounge channel. Check out my other channel, Reaction Diaries, and turn on notifications so you'll know whenever I go live or turn or, or do a uh, premiere or upload a new video. Thank you guys for being here. I love you all. Ciao. Have a great day. Bye.